Hello. In today's lesson, we're going to apply what we learned about energy in a classroom project. And today's lesson has a couple goals. One of the goals is to work together. <laughs> in most science activities, it's important that you communicate and work well together. I'd probably say that almost all science discoveries are team efforts with people that know how to work together. And today's lesson is no exception. You see, today, we're going to investigate potential energy and kinetic energy to make a classroom marble roller coaster. That's right, a marble roller coaster. And we're going to be using and studying objects in motion. We're going to use gravity, potential energy, and kinetic energy to move a marble completely around your classroom. And so since we're going to be studying energy, we ought to take a look at what is the law of conservation of energy. We've studied and had several demonstrations about how energy is transferred. Well, there's a, a name for it. It's called the law of conservation of energy. It states that when one form of energy is transferred to another, no energy is lost in the process. Well, according to the law of conservation of energy, energy cannot be created nor destroyed. Whatever example you use from the sun to plants to eating plants to digesting the energy through the sugar going through your veins to the mechanical movement to the turning of a crank to the electromagnetic energy and the sound and all the heat that comes from it, energy can be transferred, not created nor destroyed. And so Let's take a look then, how do we apply that in our daily lives? Now, I don't know about you, but I love riding on a roller coaster. And a roller coaster uses some sort of energy, mechanical or electrical, to get you to the top. Ding, 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 ding. Gravity takes over to get you going down through the rest of the course. Now, here's a little bar of potential, which means stored, and kinetic, which means the energy of movement. And there's a bar right there. At the very top of this roller coaster, I would have to add a bar that looked like this. My, my potential energy would be full, but since I'm stopped, I would have no kinetic energy. So as you travel down the roller coaster, just like your marble, those bars would change. Here, you're moving fast, but you're halfway down, so what do you think your potential energy would be? Your kinetic energy. And down here, you're going your fastest. However, not much of one type of energy. And you continue on through the loop, and you notice that each successive movement is a little bit lower than where you started. I want you to think about that. You start here, and it slows down, and there is something called momentum that keeps you going. Your job is to try to find a way to get your marble designed to go completely around your classroom without stopping, okay? We want to give it potential energy, and when you let it go, gravity will take over, and it will change to kinetic energy. So. There's a couple things we need to think about. After we do that, I'd like you to come back and complete this workbook uh, page about conserving energy while you ride. And let's take a look then at our worksheet, the Marble Roller Coaster Challenge. Okay, so we're gonna, we've been studying our chapter, and we're going to have a teams of students with two insulation pipes which look like this, so of course, much longer. These, speaking of energy, are used to put over your hot water pipes in your house. That way, when you heat the water in your water heater, as it goes through your house, the energy is insulated and stays in the water and not in your room. So spending a few dollars on this foam filled with air is a good way to save more money on your heating bill to heat your water. All right, you're gonna have teams. And you're also going to have a marble, okay? And you're going to 
decide as a class where you're going to start. And each team I have on here, each team has a certain amount of distance that you can drop down. And there's some rules here. I think that um, these rules uh, are more of a guidelines. Like each team can have a small gap for the next team. That's a good idea. Uh, use only potential energy. That's a good idea. I don't know. These two right here are kind of tough. Uh, make a 360 loop. I think if you make a loop like that, you might lose too much energy. So I would say, class, on your first go, don't do that. Uh, we're going to make a 90 degree turn anyway because you're going to start here in your room and you're going to end up going around like that and so you're actually going to make a couple turns. And the marble ends up in the cup and when I say it ends up in the cup not attached to the tubes, let me show you what I mean. Here's your classroom floor, okay, and we're going to start here. This may be this, the door of your classroom. If you start with your tube here, the first team has two tubes there is not much of a drop so I would start it with a little bit of a drop and each team drop a little bit about each team needs to drop about 30 centimeters you don't want to have one team drop way down here and then the rest of the kids don't have anything to work with so you're gonna to have to have a gradual drop across the entire length of your roller coaster now what's something I you might want to try is let me show you a drawing here, what I mean by this. Here is one of the insulating tubes, okay? Okay, and this tube looks just about like this. I have some tape for you. You can see how it has this end right here. If you put these tubes together like this, there's a chance they're not going to match up. Okay, that's called a butt joint. I would not do it like that. All right, if you put them together like this, coming downhill, the marble is going to do this and stop right there. So I would not overlap them like that. I would overlap them like this. I'd put the uphill, the one with more potential energy, inside the downhill. So now, when you put it in here, it goes down this bump. I'll show it to you again. There's the bump right there. It will go down the bump instead of going stop on the bump, okay? So I would make sure that this one fits inside of this one. If you can see how my drawing is, so that fits inside of that one. Okay, so the marble will go down. All right? So that's a key part when you join the sections. Okay, now you might want to actually, from each team, you might have a little space here from one marble and use a cup or something. I have some cups that you can cut out, and so there's a gap. That's up to you. If you want to have a cup in there where it shoots out and lands in the next section, so from team A to team B, you might want to have a gap. And I'll provide you with lots of cups, and these cups you can um, cut apart and, and make sure that if you cut them, that they fit well together. I'm going to give you one more tip, and it's kind of it's kind of cool. One of my schools did this, and here's what they did. They actually, um, I thought it'd be kind of cool if they had their marble roller coaster. So the marble's coming out right here, okay. When the marble came out, they took a balloon and stretched that balloon over a cup, okay. Stretch the balloon over a cup, and then put their second tube here. So the balloon went like, uh, so the marble went like this, ding, 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 bound, bound, and bounced from that cup back into the next tube. So they did a balloon 
bounce. That's up to you. I know you're very creative. You'll probably want to do that, okay? To give you an idea what uh, our marble roller coaster looks like, let's check out this sixth grade class from Rhodes Elementary. Check it out. This is Miss Houlihan at Rhodes Elementary with sixth grade, and we are working on turning what kind of energy? Into? This is our marble roller coaster. Marble, here we go. As you can see, they had a balloon at the end of theirs where the marble came out, bounced, and went into their bucket at the end. So, I'll tell you, uh, the challenge has started. I've selected some of these and put up on uh, my YouTube channel, Rick Crosland Science, so you can see the end results of potential energy, kinetic energy, three, two, one, marble roller coaster. I hope you enjoy watching these as much as we enjoyed making them.